Paul says, I beseech you, I beg you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God. It's only by the mercy of God that we are here right now. It's only by the mercies of God that you're breathing in and out. So if he gave you breath to breathe, he gave you his mercy that he renews every morning. Because I'm not running on Saturday's mercy. I'm running on Sunday's mercy. And if he allows me to live till tomorrow, he'll give me some Monday morning mercy. We talked about presenting our bodies because when you present your body, no one can present your body for you. Come on, Micah. Come on. Come the granddad in the name of the Lord. When you present your body a living sacrifice, we have to be mindful. There are living and there are dead sacrifices. I refuse to be a dead sacrifice. The Bible says we are lively stones in the building of God. Lively stones. God's not dead, so we shouldn't be dead. This is where I didn't expand enough last week. A living sacrifice, holy. How many here are holy? See, some of you, 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 you delayed raising your hand. Holiness is not perfection. You are only holy because you belong to God. God says, be ye holy, for I am holy. Holiness means that you are separate. You are just not an ordinary guy. You are not just an ordinary girl. But you are made in the image and the likeness of God. And I wish I could get a few people to praise God and just say, God don't make no junk. And let me tell you something, if you think that you're junk, oh glory to God, you know, I know some of you are saying, when is he going to get the butterflies? I'm going to get there in a minute. <laughs> if you think that you're junk, let God recycle you. <laughs> it's time for you to go to God's green recycling bin. You can't put, in the name of the Lord, recyclable material into the blue bin. You got to put it into the green bin. Oh, glory to God. And if it's put in the green bin, that means it's going to be used for another day. But it's got to be transformed into something else. And you don't know when you're drinking out of a milk carton. You don't know that could have been something else. Are y'all praying for me? Are y'all praying for me? Lord giving me new information right now. I went into my, I went into the, 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 I was in the kitchen and I just went to review some of the things that God had given me. And I went to my, my file and all of my notes over the last three weeks were gone. That's not good. When there I told my wife, I said, I had to redo. I said, Lord, I said, I need your spirit right now. And then he started giving me images in my head what my notes look like. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I had my PowerPoint in the name of the Lord. I had my PowerPoint and all the stuff started coming together. It took me two or three hours to put it together in the name of the Lord. I know I don't look like I'm using notes. I don't read notes. I just look down and get thoughts and then I give them to you. Good. All right. hey. That's what's up. We are all recyclable. That's right. But we ain't going to keep going through the same cycle. Oh, glory to God. The butterfly, oh, listen to me. The caterpillar only gets one shot. That's right, one. He only gets one shot to become a butterfly. We only get one shot in the name of to do it God's way. And when you do it God's way, how many know he keeps adding to you? Aranda, show me those stages. Show me those stages real quick while I'm talking. I'm getting ready to get into confirmation right now. In this particular area, yeah. we're going to be talking about breaking out soon. The scripture says in the second verse, and be not conformed to this world. 
this world is in, in trouble. This country is in trouble. The White House is in trouble. The church can't deny it. The church can't turn their eyes from it. But it's an opportunity for us to know what to do and what not to do. Be not conformed to this world. In the church, the church is made up of people, right? But everybody that look like a saint ain't a saint. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it like I'm gonna put it out there like this. I don't know what a saint look like. What they look like? <laughs> what kind of clothes does a saint wear? What kind of shoes does a saint put on? How does a saint wear their hair? How many know it's not about what you got on, it's what's on the inside of you? And what's on the inside of us at the end of the day is the spirit of the Lord. Remember, be ye holy, you are separate. Holiness is not tied to your dress. Holiness is not tied to your walk. What is a holy walk? <laughs> I don't know. What, 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 what is a holy walk? What, what, is, what, is, what is holy swag? You know. Since the church belongs to people, there is some deliverance that needs to take place. It's deliverance from the chameleon spirit. A chameleon is a conformer. He conforms that lizard that God has created conforms to his environment. Should have had a picture of a chameleon. I'll get one next. If he's on a brown piece of bark, he turns brown. He blends in. If he's on a green leaf, he turns green. Yeah, yeah. Some people in the church are like that. We don't know what you are. <laughs> One Sunday you're rejoicing. The next Sunday you mad at everybody. One Sunday you're encouraging your neighbor. The next Sunday you're saying good gravy, Pastor Rob, preach too long. <laughs> A chameleon spirit. You want to be consistent across the board who you are. You want to be consistent across the board with your testimony of how you arrived where you are. And we never arrive, we are always growing. Don't be a chameleon. Ask your neighbor, who are you? Some of you, well, you know, you naming your name and your job and all this kind of stuff. You know, I'm the, I'm the executive director. You know, I'm the CEO. You know, I'm the supervisor. I'm the deacon. I'm the missionary. I'm, I'm the choir member. I'm the anointed. I'm... At the end of the day, you're a child of God. That's who you are. You are a son of the most high. That's who you are. We got to be delivered from the chameleon. The scripture says, be not conformed to this world. But there's another option. What's that? Be transformed. Oh, glory to God. I'm getting ready to preach to you now. Be transformed. When we got saved, the Lord transformed us. It is the Greek word metamorpho, which means to change. It means to transfigure into another form. How many know that you're not where you want to be, but you're not what you used to be? Oh, glory to God. Uh, Lord, please be patient with me because I know that you're not through with me yet. Is that anybody's testimony? Anybody in here a work in progress? Anybody still in their process? Be patient with me, God. I know you're not through with me yet. The child of God is a transformer. Nicole, tell your neighbor, you are more than meets the eye. I'm picking on my sister-in-law right now. Look at your neighbor and say, you are more than meets the eye. 
Testify to them, say, I'm more than meets the eye. I'm just trying to wake y'all up. I don't know why the Lord does this. You know, I'm just trying. Y'all remember the Transformers? They still well alive and well. But you know, when they, when, when they first came out, you know, the, 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 the commercial was Transformers more than. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. See, I know I'm in the right church. See, 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 the young people, they don't know about that part. The millennials don't know about that part. But when this toy came, first came out, it was Transformers more than meets the eye. You are more than meets the eye. See, some of you don't, some folk don't know what you've been through. They don't know what you used to be. But God is getting ready to make you functional. The robot is still a car. The car is still a robot. They just change according to what's needed. Be a transformer. There's revelation in that toy. T.D. Jakes quotes in his book, Can You Stand to Be Blessed? I believe he was watching Dexter play with a transformer. And Dexter was playing with a robot, and here he is down on the floor playing with a robot. He looks away for a minute, turns to his son, it turns into a car. T.D. Jakes asked Dexter, where's the robot? He said, Daddy, this is a transformer. It's a robot that can turn into a car. What does that tell us? God has put gifts on the inside of us. But we got to stay in the process for him to mold us and shape us to be all that he has called us to be. Tell your neighbor one more time, I'm more than meets the eye. And trust me, Somebody has their eye on you. Somebody's watching you. Somebody says there's something special about that person. Satan wants to corrupt our transformation. Oh, glory to God. Bear with me. How many know you can lose your witness in the flash of a pain? Don't let anyone or anything cause you to lose your witness. On your job, you are blood tried and blood bought. You are sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. When you're in the grocery store, stop giving the cashier so much trouble. Show them the love of God. Smile at them. Say thank you. Don't try to use your anointing against anybody. you got to be who you are and who God has made you wherever you are. The location really doesn't matter. Be anointed in the gym. Be anointed in the bank. Be anointed in the grocery store. Be anointed while you're walking the dog. Be anointed while you're cleaning your house. Don't let anything or anyone and not even Satan himself kindle, kindle your spiritual metamorphosis. Tell your neighbor my change is about to come. Let me show you what it looks like. Ephesians says like this, be ye angry and sin not. Yes, yes, yes. Come on now. Let not the sun go down on your wrath. Oh, glory to God. Neither give place to the devil. Don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Because if you go to bed mad, you're going to get up mad. If you go to bed upset, you're going to get up. You're going to get up upset. Don't give place to the devil. You tell the devil, this is my body. And this is my mouth. I'm going to say what God says. These are my hands. They're going to go where they're supposed to go. These are my feet where God is going to take me. That's where I'm going. I'm not giving you place. Give the devil his eviction papers today. Yeah. 
tell them you got to go. I am a child of God and I'm in metamorphosis mode. Your metamorphosis can go bad. Show that green man. The millennials don't know nothing about this dude neither. I, I, I can't remember that. Does anybody remember the name of the guy that was trying to find Bruce Banner? What was his name? Anybody remember? Nobody remember? But David Banner played by the actor Bill Bixley, I believe it was. The Hulk was played by the famous bodybuilder Lou Ferrigno. But in this sitcom, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. In this show, yeah. this is when they had TV guys. See, the millions don't know nothing about that either. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying this. Hold up, hold up your hand if you had a TV guy that ever came to your house. Yeah, yeah, see. This is when they had TV guys. You know, everything's online right now. <laughs> Let me tell you a funny story. You know, I was at the convention. You know, I, we got to get out of here. I can't tell too many stories. I was at the convention, you know, and, um, you know, uh, sitting around with a group of preachers and, uh, and uh, uh, William Murphy, one of his, one of his, uh, Ministers was uh, sitting next to me. You know, one of the pastors said, you know, sit with Elder Sanders, he'll take care of you. So, you know, I, I wanted to exchange information with him because, you know, I'm you know, thinking about bringing Milk, you know, uh, William Murphy to, to Buffalo. So, you know, I, I said to him, you know, and not thinking who I was talking to, you know, because he was a millennial, and I said, can I have your business card? He went, <laughs> He said, well, you know, I'm one of these millennial guys. You know, I really don't, I really don't, you know, have any business card. He said, but I'll send you my information. I look on my phone, I give him my phone, I look on my phone, all his information is there, his picture is there. <laughs> but this, this show was when there were TV guys. And, and if you know the story, the guy that was, 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 was trying to expose him, he was yeah. exposed to some kind of radiation. Yeah. And his script kind of went like this. You know, if you pushed on him, he would say, don't make me angry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> and for some reason, every time somebody would push this guy in every episode. And he would turn from the guy that was just a gypsy going from place to place. He, he'd have on the same jeans and the same checkered shirt. And usually was a, was a denim top. And when he was pushed, he would, go, he would morph into a beast. How many know we still have the Adamic nature? We have the nature of Adam. In the name of the Lord, we are saved, but our flesh ain't saved. So the next time y'all come to me with a problem or a complaint, I'm gonna say, don't make me angry. <laughs> you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> I brought this out because the enemy wants to corrupt our change, Amen. our process. He wants to turn us into a beast. He knows that God is on the inside that's of right, us. That's right, that's right, that's right. I'm going to leave here. I'm going to come back next week. I promise you I'm getting to the butterfly. I'm almost there. It says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Mm -hmm. How many know the mind is a terrible thing to waste? Yes, <laughs> Metamorphosis.
metamorphosis begins in your mind. The mind here deals with, the, the renewing of your mind deals with renovation. It deals with reconstruction. It deals with a complete change for the better. How many know that when your mind is right, you'll do the right things with your hands? You'll do the right things with your feet. You'll do the right things with your ear. You'll do the right thing with your eyes. Metamorphosis invites a mindset that declares, I will not remain in this state. Oh, glory to God. Whatsoever a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. You gotta think like God has better for you. You gotta think that I'm not gonna remain in the stage of infancy. How many know it's time for some folk just to grow up? It's, you ever have a desire to grow? You ever have a desire to go to the next level? Ain't nobody gonna read your Bible for you. You gotta read the Bible for yourself. Don't wait to get to church to open up your Bible. How many know you got to meditate on the word? Day and night. Absolutely. You have to tell the enemy at this stage in my life, I think I'll grow. Mm -hmm. Interesting enough, metamorphosis, meta, the word repent. The word repent is the Greek word metanoi, which means to change the mind. How many know our minds got to be changed? If your mind is made up. How many have a made up mind? Who has the power to change your mind? When it comes to your calling. The word repent, metanoia, it means to change the mind. It's to change the inner man. Our inner man has to be changed. When sin came into the world, Satan dealt with the soul. He dealt with the intellect. He said, if you eat of the, of the, of the tree of knowledge and of good and evil, but God said, you will surely die. And Satan said, you won't surely die. And we know what happened. Philippians 2, 5 and 6 says, Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. This spiritual metamorphosis must, God must be given permission. He must be given permission to change your life. He must be given permission to allow the anointing that he has put on your life to flow in your life. He must be given permission to mold and shape your thoughts, mold and shape your conscience. He must be given permission to use you. How many know everyone here God wants to use, but if you don't give him permission to use you, you'll never be you. The caterpillar has everything on the inside of it to become a butterfly. Some people are just satisfied with crawling when they can fly. Jesus said in Philippians 2, or, 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 or Paul said to the Philippians in Philippians 2 and 6, who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form. He transformed himself into a servant. He was God manifested in the flesh, but God needed a body and he called it his son. God, spirit, put on a man, lowered himself so that he could die for the sins of the world. You ought to praise God. That sounds like transformation to me. God transformed himself for us. He transformed himself so that we could have life and have it more abundantly. Oh, you ought to praise the Lord in here. If 
you have to be, if God had to be transformed, you have to be transformed. Let me take it a little bit further than that. He was transformed on the Mount of Transfiguration. They looked at him and he said he shined like the noonday sun. How many know that the devil is trying to tarnish your shine? Oh, glory to God. He's trying to put your light out. But we just got through saying, when you don't got no light, the Lord is my light. Salvation. Whom shall I fear? Let me tell you something, a fearful person can be transformed into a person that will go boldly go before the throne of grace. A helpless person can find their comfort in the Lord. A person that has low self-esteem, the Lord will lift you up because the Bible says if you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, he will transform you and exalt you in due time. Is it all right if I close here? No. I feel like closing. I feel like sending you home in the name of the Lord so that you'll come back on Sunday because we're going to fly before it's all over with. I dare you, I double dare you to come here next Sunday and let me preach the rest of this to you. But in the meantime, just give God the praise because the devil in the name of the Lord is no longer in control. But you are in control. Say, are you serious? You think you're going to stop me from preaching this? In the name of the Lord, I'm trying to get this information to you just like the mailman. In the name of the Lord, I'm your mailman today. And I'm giving you a special delivery that you can turn to God and be transformed. Where are the transformers in the house? Come on, give God some praise. In the name of Jesus. Next week where I pick up, I'm going to pick up where I left off. And I'm going to talk to you that it's time for you to see God, see yourself like God sees you. Oh, you ought to praise the Lord in here because God has given us uh, the spirit of transformation. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, you are more than meets the eye. Uh, if you believe it today, uh, you need to send the devil an email uh, and tell him that God has called me. Uh, God has appointed me. Uh, God has changed me. Uh, God has made me. Uh, if you know that God made you and not you yourself, can you you jump to your feet and give God a praise like it's your last time. Come on, give God the glory, the, the transformation power. You've been metamorphosized. You've been changed from the inside out. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but the Bible says if any man, if any woman be in Christ, they are a new creature. All things have passed away and behold all things become new it's a new season it's a new day a fresh anointing is coming your way you're going through stages you're going through trials you're going through the valley you're going through the shadow of death but don't fear don't doubt the Lord your maker is on your side give God some praise you're getting ready to go from a caterpillar to a butterfly oh glory to God I believe I may not look like it but I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky think about it every night and day spread my wings and fly away it's time to change it's time to wait on God he's making you in the dark folk don't see it but God's got his eye on you if you believe it shout yeah folk may not be able to see what God is doing but one thing I love is when God works in the background you need to give God a praise because for some of you he's doing something miraculous in the background how many know that God knows how to develop you God knows how to make you and if you are a transformer I 
want you to take 60 seconds and give God the praise for your change. Like Job said, on my point of time, I'm going to wait till my change come. Tell your neighbor, I'm waiting till my change come. I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined his ear unto me and he heard my cry in your dark place in your place of uncertainty don't be afraid to call on the Lord give God a praise while you're in the dark God at some point is going to give you light hallelujah the last time I checked Jesus is the light of the world give God the praise because like he blessed Andre Ingram he's going to bless you they don't know your name but God said you don't need man to put your name in light I am the light of the world if you believe it shout it yeah. praise him like it's your time praise him like you're getting ready to turn and allow God to transform you where the transformers you know how to turn you know the drill all the transformers come to the altar and let's show the people what a real turn looks like come on church help me preach this message all those that are looking to come out all those that are looking to go higher fill this altar face the back of the church and help your pastor preach this message all the turners come on all the transformers let's get ready to turn do you have enough faith to let the devil know I'm not staying here but I'm getting ready to turn can I preach to the transformers can I preach for those when they see you on Sunday or Monday morning they're gonna know that you've been in the presence of the Almighty God can I get a few transformers to just open up your mouth and give God some praise and let the devil know that I am more than meets the eye I am more than what you see but I got a prophecy I'm coming out I'm gonna let the world know I'm gonna let my glory that God gave me show give God some praise if you're a transformer at the count of three let's turn to God let's go to your left go to the left one two three turn Hell yeah Shout yeah, shout yeah, shout yeah, shout yeah, come on church, I believe we need to do it just one more time, Sam will you go with me, come on, one, two, three, shout yeah, go back to your seat, give God some praise, come on church, turn, Turn and be transformed. Shout yeah! All the transformers, open up your mouth and give God the praise. Don't leave. We're about to go home. But come on, praise him. Praise him because you're a transformer. Praise him because you are more than meets the eye. Praise him because you're not going to let the devil steal your joy. Give God your best praise.
church, I need you to pray. In the name of Jesus, receive the Holy Ghost. I need a praying woman. If you need to be transformed, come to this altar and cry out to God. What must I do to be saved? If you haven't been baptized, I need you to come. If you haven't been to the water, I need you to come. If you believe that Jesus saved, if you believe that Jesus lived and he died and he rose, you need to be baptized in Jesus' name. Come on. salvation come right now you don't know who the Lord is you need to come right now you haven't accepted him as Lord and Savior you need to come right now you haven't been baptized in Jesus name you need to come right now tomorrow is not promised to you no man knows the hour nor the day the Lord is blessing this these two young women she's, he's blessing them right now the glory of God is upon them right now God is getting ready to restore Doctor that has never lost a case. 
in the name of the Lord. I pray for the doctors that will operate on you. But God is going to be the healer in the name of Jesus. Right now, something is happening in your body. Just give God the praise. He's running through your body right now. He's breaking up something right now. Just give God the praise for it. He's doing it for you right now. Come on, church. Praise God for his healing power. We're preparing to leave this place. 